Okay, so I've had uh, a few comments on some of my videos asking for this tutorial, which was actually coming up anyways. We're going to move the fifth wheel. And basically what that does, I've shown you how to move the axles on the trailer. Pretty much the same idea for moving the fifth wheel. Basically what it is, is the trailer axles, if you move those, it shifts the weight from the back end of the trailer and the nose of the trailer. All right, it's kind of like a teeter-totter, you know, you add in the center, you know, it all depends on where it's placed. The fifth wheel does basically the same thing, it moves the weight from the nose of the trailer to the nose of the cab, or vice versa, depending on how you got it set up. There's different reasons to move it. The biggest thing is the legal weights. The other would be comfort and ride. If it's too far back, you got all the weight back here on the very end, you're going to have a bump your ride. If you've got it slid too much far forward, you're going to have a heck of a load on your steers. So, you know, you want it kind of in the center. Also, one thing, especially now with fuel prices, is with the gap here between the fairing and the nose of the trailer, you got a lot of wind resistance. So, fuel might be, you know, a factor in the consumption. The closer it is, the smaller the gap, the less fuel. It might not seem like much, but when you're an owner operator, you know, every square inch counts. Now, on average, depending on the state, it's going to vary, but the legal maximum weight are about 12,000 pounds for the steer axles, 34,000 pounds for the drive axles, and 34,000 pounds on the, on the uh, trailer axles, depending on the axle setup. If you got a triatom, it's more. If you've got it set up, you know, with a certain triatom, it's even more than the regular triatom. That's a whole other topic that hopefully I won't have to be asked to do so far yet. So, it's pretty easy to move the fifth wheel. What you got to do is once you figure out, again, there's little notches just like in the, the trailer axles. You've got to figure out, depending on the manufacturer, how much weight is per hole, all right? There's also different ways they're built. This one here is un not unusual, but it's different from the one I'm, I'm used to. So let's get a closer look. Okay, so you can see that basically on this one, there's little teeth. Actually, the teeth would be these ones. That's on the fifth wheel. Then you got the holes here. What you're going to have to do is move it. So right now what I've done is I've taken a little rock and I've marked where it is now because I'm going to have to set it up to where it was before I started this video. But basically, once you know the weight ratio and how much you want to move, count off the spaces and take... If you've got chalk, it's probably a good idea to have a little chalk in your toolbox. Just put a mark on it as to where you want it to move. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make sure all your brakes are applied, including the trailer brakes. Now, what you also want to do, which I don't know if I mentioned on the uh, on the uh, trailer axles, is you want to dump the air back here. The reason for that is when you're pushing and pulling, you don't want the airbags to sit there and get the force on. So go ahead and dump your air. And now you're going to have to lower your landing here. And just like in the connecting and disconnecting, you got to make sure the ground is level on both sides and that there's no gaps. Now at this point, you don't want too much pressure, but you do want the feet on the ground. You're going to have to make sure that they're both on the ground. You don't have to worry like you're dropping, getting all the weight off of it, because you don't want the trailer to be fully self-supported, you just want it to just be there and not move. Okay, now you're going to come inside and you're going to hit your fifth wheel slide button and put it over to the unlock position. And now you're going to go outside and you're going to make sure that they have released. Okay, the thing is hissing, but it's not releasing. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hammer and just kind of beat them. I don't know if you actually saw that or not, but they should go in. Okay, so now we've made sure that the pins are in. You're going to release the air suspension on the trailer. And what that's going to do is... Uh, 
I gotta take care of this. I've lost a lot of air. So with the air suspension down, it's taken the relief off of the fifth wheel, but the jaws are still locked, so you're going to be able to push and pull on the uh, on that fifth wheel. So now what you're going to do is you're going to move the truck, release the tractor brakes, put it in the lowest gear, and move depending on which way you need to go. So now what you're going to do is you're going to come out here and you're going to take a look at if it's close to the teeth and then you're going to go back into the truck and you're going to release the airs again and then you're going to do just like you did on the trailer is you're going to rock it until it locks in. So when you're inside hit the fifth wheel slide and that's going to try to put the actuators back out which won't happen until you get it lined up properly. So what you got to do is find your low gear again and try to pull. And there, now they're in. Now we can put the air back into the suspension, and now we can go outside and take a look. Okay, so I'm one pin farther back than where I started. Instead of pulling forward, I should have backed up, but the pins are in place on this side. You gotta walk around to the other side and make sure those pins are in. And then uh, go and scale out if that was your problem. And uh yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. You got to make sure you raise the landing gear while I was inside. When I noticed the pins were locked, when I felt the jar, I uh, put the air uh, back in the airbags, lifted that up. So all you have to do now at this point is go back there, lift the um, landing gear, and put the air back into the trailer, and then just drive off. Ah. Uh. Add your own music here, because uh, I still don't have any yet. Okay.